The first one that I saw yesterday was that there was some serious vulnerabilities in the Max with Bitcoin. So apparently there's this thing called GoFetch. It's, uh, I, I don't know the whole story there, so I'm not going to pretend like I do. But kind of the key takeaways from me there is that if you are somebody who has a Mac and you are somebody who holds your private key encrypted on that Mac, somebody possibly can get a hold of that. And from what I understand of it, they have to actually hold your laptop physically. But that's where we are today. I'm sure in a month from now or two months from now, they'll be able to do it without actually having your laptop. So that's how these things move. Once once uh, people out there kind of find these vulnerabilities, they work towards further make, uh, making it further vulnerable. So that is where we're at today. If you have any private keys, first of all, before you even consider that, you have to make sure that the number one rule in Bitcoin, other than never telling how much, never telling anybody how much Bitcoin you own, the number two rule in Bitcoin is never have your private key on anything that's digital. So I don't care if that's a password protector on your phone, the most private and protected password protector, that's a lot of peace <laughs> out there. Never put your private key on anything that's digital. I don't care if it's encrypted on your laptop. I don't care if it isn't a password manager. You always want to have this stuff on paper. And once you get enough Bitcoin, you move that from paper onto steel. Because I think a lot of people out there, and you might and ask yourself this question. If, you're, if something happened in your house, you had a couple uh, too many beers, you had a weed gummy, and you fell asleep on the couch, your stove was on, your house burnt down, would your Bitcoin survive that? If you have it on your phone or you have it on a cold card with your private key written down on a piece of paper, your Bitcoin will probably not survive that fire. And it's pretty easy to say that it can't happen to me, as Charlie Major says, can't happen to me, but it can. And so you have to be putting your, that's your transition. Never put it onto anything digital, get it onto paper. And then from there, buy yourselves a couple, a couple weeks, order a steel plate somehow. Uh, they sell them on CoinKite, but put it onto steel. That's what I would suggest there. Okay, 